Hi, welcome to this lesson. I am sure you all know the importance of call to action button in your website. Ideally, a call to action should be such that it attracts the visitor's attention immediately. Take a look at this page of my video related website. The call to action button looks nice. It is placed above the fold and has a clear action to take message. The color of the button changes as I move the cursor over the button. If you want to design similar call to action buttons for your needs, let me assure you that this is easy to do without having any knowledge on graphic designing. You can create your own buttons with the help of a WordPress plugin and I will explain that in this video. The plugin is not free. It costs $10 as of this video making and it is called Max Buttons Pro, a CSS3 button generator for WordPress. In my experience, Max Buttons Pro is certainly powerful and easy to use so that you can create beautiful call to action buttons. After you buy and download Max Buttons Pro on your computer, it is time to go to the install plugins page in your WordPress blog. As you click upload, you come to this page. Locate the Max Buttons Pro zip file on your computer and click install now. After it is installed in your blog, you need to activate it. After the activation, Max Buttons Pro comes in a separate tab in the left pane. As I move the mouse on it, I get to see the options for it. Let me click add new. This is the main interface for creating buttons in Max Buttons Pro. The steps for creating the button are not difficult to understand. As you design the button, the output shows up here. It remains at one place until you drag it to where you want it to be. There are two outputs here. The top bar shows the normal button and the bottom one is how the button will look when you hover the cursor over it. There are seven sections for designing the button, starting with the basics like giving the button a name and the page URL that opens when the button is clicked. The other sections are button dimensions, text on the button and its styling, including icon on the button and its styling, designing button borders, button colors, and lastly, designing the button container. I will take you to the button I have already created so that you can see the different design parameters used for that. Okay, here is the button I have created. These are the name and description I have saved for the button that immediately tell me where and for what purpose this button is used. This is the short code for the button. It means you simply include this small piece of code anywhere in your WordPress blog and the button will be displayed with all its features. Let me click this link. And here is my button design page. The button width and the height are 260 pixel and 40 pixel respectively. There can be two lines in the button text and each line can be styled independent of each other. For example, I may want to have a second line that is aligned left and not center like the first one. A big choice of fonts is available in this drop down list. For my button, I have selected the Google Web font Paytone 1. In this design, the shadow offset is to the left and top for minus one pixel each. Lastly, give padding to the button text as necessary here. In my case, 
the top padding is 12 pixel and bottom padding is 4 pixel. In the next section, you can include an icon on the button. For example, suppose I want to include a download icon on the button. So let me click select to choose the icon. You can upload the icon from your computer. But as I already have one icon in the uploaded media library, let me select that one and then click insert to insert the icon on the button. Here it is. Let me make some adjustments in the padding. And now it is ready for use. After the icon, it is the turn to design the border of the button in the next section. I have kept a solid border having width 2 pixel and shadow width 2 pixel. The radius of the four corners is the same at 20 pixel. Let me make it 24 pixel to give the button a more rounded look. In the colors section, you can set the colors and gradient for the button and that of the button text. Finally, in the container section, you will be able to position the whole of the button by making adjustments here. As you can see, you can easily design your own unique button, as many as you want, for use in your WordPress blog. MaxButton Pro has a ready-to-use collection of button packs. Each pack costs $5 and you can of course customize the buttons you get in the packs. All in all, MaxButton Pro is a helpful and easy button creation tool for use with WordPress. Hope this tutorial will help you. Thanks for watching this lesson.